time to take a look at the Vectornator interface and one of the really nice things about Vectornator is that they've really put a lot of thought into the interface and how it's going to work on smaller screen devices like iPhones and iPads. So of course things will look a little different depending on the device that you're on but the icons will all remain the same and you can navigate very similarly in each device. First up, there are tools along this left hand side. Here you have things like your selection tool, your direct selection tool, your scissor tool. There's a lot of different tools that are here and you can see that there's this little contextual bar that changes as you switch tools. So when I'm on the move tool, I have this check mark and this little duplicate option. And so they're adding in the tools that you need there in that little mode menu next to the tools. So different ones will have different versions of that and some won't have any at all. But here you can see in the pencil, you can actually choose your size right there. So a lot of these things that might traditionally have been like in the top bar, those happen here right next to it. And there aren't a ton of different options, so it's pretty easy for them to include the most relevant ones right there. At the top of the screen, we have a small navigation bar and we can open up more options in it by hitting the little arrow. When we do that, we can see that we have a gear which will give us our preferences or settings. And there's quite a bit of different things that we can do within that. There's also a little share or export button. And that's how at the end of this course, we'll be able to export our final project for uploading to Skillshare. Next to that, we have the zoom level. Tapping that will snap the artboard into place. Then we have the undo and redo buttons. And of course, then we can collapse it. This little button here with the check mark is a select all, deselect all button. If we had any objects on the screen, we could use that to select all of them out or deselect them all at the same time. And the X, of course, will take us out of this document and back to the home screen. Next, we have a number of inspectors on the right hand side. So you have things like the style inspector, the arrange inspector, the path inspector, and the layers inspector, as well as this plus button at the very end, which is the import inspector and will allow us to bring in different images. We'll use those inspectors a lot throughout this course. Let me just add an object to the screen so that we can see a couple of things. When we draw an object like a rectangle, you can see that we then get what's called the quick action menu right beneath it. And the quick action menu is more contextual tools that you can probably find in the inspectors on the right, but it allows you to find them much easier when they just appear in the context which you need them. And that's one of the really great things here about Vectornator is just how it works so well on this mobile device. You won't see something like the quick actions menu if you're doing this on a Mac because you can have more of the inspectors open and accessible to you and those kinds of things. You'll also notice that some things have changed at the top. So now we have this little action bar and this action bar will let us do things like delete, cut, copy and paste. There's a lot of things that happen contextually here and if you don't see an option that you think you should be able to see, chances are you're just selected on the wrong object. I'm not going to go over all of the actions that are available right now, but I just wanted you to be aware that that's how they come up and they will change depending on which objects you have selected. There's one more piece of the interface that I wanted to mention before we move on. And that is this tiny little circle in the bottom right hand corner. It's actually a little nudge joystick. So you can actually use that to nudge objects in different directions around the screen. That's very helpful if you're having trouble being very precise in placing. You can just use the nudge to do that. If you tap it, it will expand and then you can do it in tiny little increments. So that's quite helpful. And those are all the major pieces of the Vectornator interface. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and talk about using shapes to make our logos.